Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the Nail Polish Obsessions Tag. And this has 10 questions all about nail polish. So the first question is, favorite nail polish company? And my favorite is the Sally Hansen brand. This one is a Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish. And this is in the color Slick Slate. And this is a light brown, purple tinted, grayish color. And I'm going to be showing you examples of everything that I can in each question, but if a question doesn't require me to show nail polish, then I won't, but I have a bunch laid out in front of me, so I'm going to be showing you examples, like this is one of my favorite Sally Hansen nail polishes, and you can find this brand at the drugstore, and they have a ton of different lines off the Sally Hansen main line. So they have the Insta Dry line, which is what this one is right here, and then they have a Nail Growth Miracle one, and then they have the Extreme Wear ones, so there's a bunch of different Sally Hansen polishes that you can choose to get. And I just love them because they dry really quickly as they are said to dry really quickly on the bottle. It says that it's a fast dry nail polish. And then I also love the formulation of these. And they're not really watery, and they don't really have any streaking issues, and they're not sheer. Most of them are not sheer. I do have one sheer one to show you that is Sally Hansen, but it's supposed to be sheer. And the ones that are supposed to be opaque are opaque with not a lot of coats. The most coats I need to apply for a pretty opaque Sally Hansen nail polish is two, if even I need to apply two. I usually just apply one and then a top coat, and it also lasts pretty long, too. So Sally Hansen nail polishes are my favorite, and they're pretty inexpensive as well. You can find them from 2 to around $6, so that's a pretty good range for price of a nail polish. The next question is glitter or no glitter? Now, up until this year, I had never worn glitter nail polish because I heard that it was so hard to get off, and so I really didn't want to be scrubbing out my nails trying to get my nail polish off because I used to use the kind of nail polish remover that comes in those big bottles, and then you dump it out onto a tissue or whatever you use and then scrub out your nails to get off your nail polish, and I really don't like that method of taking off my nail polish. And so with using that method, it took me forever just to take off just normal nail polish that have cream finishes. And so I thought glitter nail polish would just be impossible, so I never even tried any glitter nail polishes. Until I got the Up and Up Acetone Nail Polish Remover, which I should have brought it down. But it's sold at Target. It's a Target brand. Up and Up is a Target brand. And it's really inexpensive, and I love that. And it takes off any nail polish really fast. So once I got that, I felt safe enough to try the glitter nail polishes knowing that I'll be able to get them off my nails easy. And so one glitter nail polish that I love is another Sally Hansen nail polish. And this is one of their extreme wear ones. And this is in the color Disco Ball. And it's this top coat. So when you put this on your nails, it'll just be a clear color with sparkles. So when you're using this polish, remember to put a base color on underneath, like just put a green color or whatever color on underneath and then put this over it and it's really, really pretty. And then the next question is OPI, China Glaze, or Essie? Now I am more of a drugstore nail polish buyer. I know the drugstore does sell Essie and OPI nail polishes, but I tend to go for the more inexpensive nail polishes because I don't really need to be spending $8 per nail polish bottle all the time. I'm fine with spending $2 or even $1 on a nail polish bottle. And so I feel like they're kind of overpriced, all those brands, but I have tried one OPI nail polish that I will feature in this video, and I love the formulation of that. So I would say OPI. The next question is, when do you change your nail polish? Now, I used to change my nail polish every Sunday because then I would just have one color on my nails all week. But then I did a play with my school not too long ago and it messed up my nail polish schedule. And so then I had rehearsals on the weekends and I didn't have time to paint my nails. And also I couldn't have painted nails during the show. During rehearsals I could have, but during the show I couldn't. And so I just got out of my nail polish schedule, and so now sometimes I'm finding painting my nails in the middle of the week, like I just painted my nails on Wednesday night. The next question is, what is your favorite color on your nails? And I think pink nail polish looks best on my nails. I think it looks really clean and pretty and classy. So one of my favorite pink polishes is this one from Revlon. And this is in the color Peach Petal. Just wait for that to focus for a minute. There it is, Peach Petal. 
and it's this baby pink. Light pink polishes are always classic and whenever I don't know what color to paint my nails I usually go for this color because pink nail polish I feel like goes with everything especially a color this light and Revlon polishes I I kind of like them I'm a little iffy about them. I like the color selection that they have but the consistency of their polishes are kind of watery and they're a little bit more thinner than other nail polishes that I like, like the Sally Hansen ones. And so for the Revlon polishes, some of them are pretty sheer. So this one I would have to apply probably two to three coats. I usually just go for two on this one because sometimes it's hard to find a really opaque light pink polish because usually they're just streaky. And this isn't really that streaky. So for a light pink polish, I feel like that this is pretty opaque. And then the next question is darks or brights. And so I have two to show you. One is one of my favorite dark nail polishes, and the other is one of my favorite bright nail polishes. And personally, I like wearing bright nail polishes a lot better. I have a lot of dark nail polishes, and I like wearing them in the fall and winter time, because that's when you're supposed to wear dark nail polish, and that's when it's in trend. But I love when spring and summer comes around, because then I can pull out all my bright and pastel color nail polish. So one of my favorite dark nail polishes is this Sally Hansen Insta Dry one. And this is in the color Cinesnap. That was upside down. Here it is, Cinesnap. And it's this deep red color. It's like a cranberry red color. And this is very opaque and very dark. So it's perfect for the winter time and the fall. And then one of my favorite bright nail polishes, which is probably the brightest nail polish that I own right now. This is a Milani Nail Art Nail Polish. And this is in the color Pink Pop. And it's this neon salmony pink color. And this just looks really good when you have tan skin in the spring and summer. And so this is one of my favorite bright nail polishes. The next question is, what are you wearing on your nails at the moment? So at the moment, this is what my nails look like. And so the two colors that I am wearing is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish in the color Mint Sorbet, which is just a pale light green with a hint of blue. And then the other nail polish that I'm wearing for the tips, as you can see right here, is this nail polish. This is an OPI nail polish. This is my only OPI nail polish right now. Um, that I currently own, but this is actually a Nicole by OPI Nail Polish. Looks like that, and this is in the color Nicole's Nickel. And it's this black and steel gray glitter polish, and I love this because this is opaque within one coat, and then you're done and you only have to apply a top coat. And so that is my nail combo of the moment, these two colors right here. And I just really wanted to do something a little different to my nails. And this is kind of a different take on the French manicure. Because obviously it's a mint green and a gray sparkly color for the base color and then the tips. So those are the nail polishes that I'm wearing right now. And then the next question is matte nails in or out. I personally don't own any matte nail polishes because I've never come across any of them. But if I did find a matte nail polish, I would probably try it out because I'm interested to see how a matte nail polish would look on my nails. Personally, I'm used to the nail polishes that have cream finishes, meaning that they are glossy when they dry. And I also like putting a top coat over my nail polishes, one, so they last longer, two, because it makes the nail polish look even more glossy on your nails. But I think matte nails would be cool to try out as tips if you put a color and then you did like a black nat, a black nat, a black matte nail polish on the tips and I feel like that would look really cool. And also a lot of people mentioned this when they did this tag video, but Miley Cyrus was in Seventeen a while ago and there was a picture with her and she was wearing a matte nail polish and it was black and it looked so cool. So I think it would be fun to try out. And sorry if you just heard that little beeping noise, that was my phone that the questions are on. The next question is French manicure question mark. So this obviously is asking what I think of a French manicure. I really like French manicures. I love the look of them on my nails. I love that they go with everything. No matter what outfit you have on, if you have a French manicure on your nails, then it will match and it will look good. And it's just classic. And I usually just do it myself. I know a lot of people 
get it done at nail salons, but I could do it myself. So the nail polishes that I use when I do a French manicure is this one is from Sally Hansen. Sally Hansen Insta Dry one again. And this is in the color Petal Pusher. And it's this light pink color, but this is actually sheer. This is supposed to be a sheer polish, so that's why I use it for a French manicure. And then for the white tip, I use this NYC Long Wearing Nail Polish. And this is in the color French White Tip, appropriately named. And I really like this one. It smells very strong, nail polish does. Anyways, because it has a pretty small brush, so you can really get a precise tip with this polish. And also, this is only a dollar, and I feel like you don't have to go out and spend like eight dollars on a white nail polish that you only need when you're doing a white tip for a French manicure if that's what you need a white polish for. This is pretty opaque as well for a white polish so this is my go-to French manicure combo. And then the last question was favorite winter nail polish because this tag went around in the winter time and now I'm just getting around to filming it because I just film tag videos when I want to. Sometimes I'll film a tag video when it's really popular and going around on YouTube and sometimes I'll film a tag video months after it's done being popular but I'm going to change the last question so it'll be more appropriate to the time of the year that we're in which is the springtime and almost the summertime so I'm going to change this to my favorite spring slash summer nail polish which is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish in the color... Is that upside down? No, yeah, there we go. In the color Lacy Lilac. And it's this lilac pastel purple color. And this is just one of my favorite spring nail polishes. This isn't the favorite, the favorite of all favorites. This is just one of them, and again, Sally Hansen polishes are awesome. Also, I love wearing these two, which I've already shown. The Mint Sorbet by Sally Hansen, and then the Peach Petal by Revlon. These three are my go-to springtime nail polishes, and also I'll probably wear them in the summer as well. So that is the Nail Polish Obsession Tag. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and all the questions will be in the description box below. So if you want to do this video, then the questions are there for you. And so that ends this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye!